Hello, this is Francisco Ruiz, the author of Passlock Privacy App, which is now in version 2.0. In this video, I'm going to show you about how to merge a key and a lock manually. This is something that is very much inside the calculations of Passlock. It's called a Diffie-Hellman key exchange but you have a way to do it in the open, manually, if you would ever want to do it. You need to be in advanced mode in order to see the buttons, the merge button, which will allow you to do that. And the way it works is that you display a lock, so for instance, my lock, in one of the tabs, either the main or the directory tab, and in the other, you display something that is not a lock. Let's say a shared key, such as I'll eat 42 bananas. If you click the merge button now, both will be merged with each other into the same thing, which will appear both in the directory tab and on the main tab. It works either way. So before we had something that was a lock in the main tab, now we can do it in the directory tab. So let's get a lock that I have saved here. And if I put it here, okay, that's a different lock. It's an easy lock. And here is still something that is not a lock. If I click here and click Merge, it will also work. And again, it will turn into a random looking um, string made of 86 characters, which is actually the combination of the previous key, if you will, and the lock that was supplied. So that way you can do nifty things such as make a, a key that will be shared by several people by merging different locks into it. All of that is explained in the manual. Thank you and enjoy Passlock.